There's a lot of confusion right now with what's happening with NBA 2K21 on current gen and next gen. People are saying players transfer over when they don't and a lot of other things. So I'm gonna clear up all the confusion in this video today. But before we get into the video, guys, if you could smash that like and subscribe button, I'd really, really appreciate it. I'm also been doing an NBA 2K21 giveaway. Link in the description to that. We've pretty much got into September. Yo, guys, what is good? It's your favorite Supreme Leader. Cameron and today we're going to be talking about all the like confusions that you guys are having with NBA 2K21 there's a lot of false rumors going around there's a lot of people thinking the wrong things I know this just from my comment section and obviously I'm not getting crazy amount of views so obviously the small amount of people that are commenting on my video the wrong thing that's only a, a small percent of the people that actually think the wrong thing, okay? There's a lot of false rumors going around, so we're going to be clearing everything up. This information is not for me, okay? This is directly taken from 2K website. It's not interpreted. This is face value, okay? This is what's happening. So this is directly off the 2K website. Obviously, I put it into this chart right here. So this is the current gen Mamba edition bonuses, all that kind of stuff on the left versus the next gen bonuses on the right. If you guys want to pause the video and just look at these for a little bit you guys can now the first rumor i helped spread i thought the next gen would be a better version to buy because then you get the current gen version like and you get better awards but the only problem is that if you guys buy the next gen version you won't get the code for the current gen version until the next gen version came out okay we cleared this up on phone call with um, one of the stores that sell nba 2k21 now the next problem people are facing is that a lot of people are seeing um bad plugs thumbnail that you get 200k VC if you buy the current gen version of NBA 2K21. But if you guys buy the current gen version, you get 100k VC when the game comes out. And then when the next gen version comes out, you get another 100k VC, but only after you've actually installed and opened the new build of NBA 2K21 on next gen. Now the same thing with next gen, you do not get 200k VC, you only get the 100,000 VC. You don't get 100,000 VC on the old gen, you only get the one lot of 100,000 VC. But instead of getting that second lot of 100,000 VC, you get a 72 hour um, two times rep boost. Now you do not get this on current gen. This is only on next gen, okay? So that's that's not available if you buy the current gen version. It's only available if you buy the next gen version. And you have to buy the next gen version of the Mamba Edition. They're two separate things. If you guys buy the current edition of NBA 2K21 Mamba Edition, you do not get the next version of the Mamba Edition, okay? You'd have to rebuy it. So that means that once NBA 2K21 comes out on next gen, and if you play NBA 2K21 on next gen version, you will not have all the clothes and animations and all that kind of stuff that you have bought or received on the current gen version of NBA 2K21 Mamba Edition. So let's say that I bought the 2K21 current version of, um, so the current generation on Xbox One, PS4. I bought that Mamba Edition, right? I'm playing, I've got all my My Plays, I've got all my clothes, my exclusive clothes and everything, or just the normal clothes that I've bought. As soon as I get the next gen console, I get the next gen version for free. I load it up, okay? I get make my new my player, okay? Because everything's gonna be different. I make my new my player, and then I won't have any of my old my players. None of my clothes will be on the account. I'll be a brown shirt with doo doo pants. And the only thing that I'll have access to from the last version of the game is my my team and how much VC I had. That's it. Now, if you want all the exclusive clothes and everything on the next gen, then you would have to rebuy the NBA 2K21 Mamba edition on that current gen so you'd have to spend another 150 dollars to get all that stuff and then you would get the 72 hour rep boost you would get the extra 100,000 vc you would get all the mamba clothes all that kind of stuff now this isn't really a rumor that i'm breaking this is actually something really really interesting that ronnie said so when you have nba 2k21 on the next gen you will still have access to the old version okay because backwards compatibility is going to be a thing so you guys can play xbox one games on Xbox Series X and you should be able to play PS4 games on PS5. So that means that NBA 2K is going to allow you to have the old version of the game as well as the new version of the game on your device. So you'll have two versions of NBA 2K21 when it comes next gen. 
on the old version you're still gonna have all your my players and everything you should be able to play with players on ps4 all that kind of stuff but then you don't have an exclusive version that people are just playing on ps5 and xbox series x where nothing is gonna be transferred over. So as I said, you my team players are really lucky because you guys are gonna get to keep all of your cards. So if you guys had any confusion, the my team stuff transfers over from current gen to next gen. So if you guys go crazy spending money on your my team, you don't have to worry about it because your my team is gonna transfer over to the next generations of consoles. As well as if you guys have a ton of VC, you guys are gonna be able to keep all your VC in the next generation of consoles as well. So, oh, NBA cases made in the USA and shipped from the USA. A large selection of high quality, super slim NBA cases, as well as some NBA 2K theme cases. If you guys would like to purchase a phone case for almost any phone model, you guys can find cases at bballcases.com. This is my own website, guys, so it's kind of sponsored, but like not really, because it's just my website. But if you're interested in buying any phone cases, just check out the website. Tell me what I did right. Tell me what I did wrong. Tell me what I can improve on. Tell me what cases you want as well as if you're interested in buying a new phone case there's a lot of great options everything is super high quality and made in the US so you don't have giant wait times like if it was from shipping from China or something like that so it's a really great deal I strongly recommend that you check it out now the next rumor is that the Mamba edition is not worth it okay guys I already broken this down in another video it's actually doing really well go check that out if you haven't but pretty much the quick summary is that if you really break it down the Mamba Mamba edition has so much extra value, especially if you're buying current gen and trying to move over to next gen. Now, as I break it down in this chart right here from my other video, the actual Mamba edition on current gen gives you around $117 of total extra value for the extra like $30 or $50 for whatever you pay. So that's incredible. And that's not including the actual fact that you get next gen as well, with an extra 100,000 VC. It gives you $53 of added value for my team. And it gives you an extra $56 worth of value for my park or the neighborhood whatever you want to call it now a lot of people say the best option to go is buy the standard version and then buy extra vc on top of that because a lot of people think that gives you more value but in actual fact guys if you guys use boosts like if you guys use gatorade boost or you use skill boost which you should by the way it'll change the way you play it makes you so much better at the game it just makes your player so much more fun to use if you use any of them which pretty much every single competitive player does or I think everyone should, to be honest, if you guys want to have a fun time playing NBA 2K, then you're going to get so much more added value with this pack because it gives you so many boosts if you buy the Mamba Edition. Now, you obviously don't have to buy another 100,000 or 75,000 VC to upgrade your player. We all know you don't have to do that, but you still get way more value, guys, if you're buying the Mamba Edition and doing that than if you were to buy the uh, current edition and then buy all the VC and then have to buy boost on top of that. So, you know, to buy the VC to upgrade your player and then to buy boost as well. You guys would actually be spending way way more money than if you were just to buy the Mumbra edition. I know a lot of people do that to save costs and get more VC, but apparently it's not really worth it when you actually break it down. Same thing if you're playing my team, you guys see the value charts, you get way more value if you're playing my team. And if you're playing both my team and my park or my career, it's really a no brainer to get the Mumbra edition, guys unless you don't have xbox live okay if you don't have xbox live or psn live whatever it's called on playstation then the mamba edition is not worth it because pretty much all the stuff that you get with the mamba edition you can't actually even use if you're um don't have xbox live and if you don't have xbox live or psn live whatever it's called psn plus i think or something like that then don't get the mamba edition buy the xbox live okay you don't have infinitely more fun you don't have a much better time having xbox live or psn live than getting the mamba edition and playing offline trust me okay if that if that's your situation you need to get the xbox live but either way guys that's really the end of the video i hope this cleared up any confusion that you guys might have had and um if you didn't just leave your comment leave your questions down below okay just comment it um and i'll respond to you okay um i'm always responding to comments if you guys got any questions i'll answer them I might make take a day or two or something, but I'll generally get through all of them. 
in time, okay? Um, it's still a while to 2K21 drop, so we have plenty of time to clear up the confusion. There's going to be a lot more NBA 2K21 news coming out before 2K21 drops. So if you guys want to smash that like and subscribe button, turn on notifications so that you know where I upload. I'm going to be updating you on everything NBA 2K21. We talk theories, we talk news, we talk updates. As well as if you guys want a new phone case for your phone, check out bballcases.com, my new website. And I'm out. See ya.